Today we're going to talk about pivot tables and how to do conditional formatting in ClickSense using pivot tables. So I'll explain kind of the problem of the scenario here. I was working with a customer, um, actually another sales, another SA uh, reached out to me for this uh, to resolve this problem. So let's say you have a table and I'm going to create a table we can see the fields of this table and again with click sense it's super simple to do that so this is my table and if I make this a pivot table uh, super quickly you'd see so these are the values I have I want to create this table where I have product and I want to add let's see list number and add some price All right so this is this is my pivot table and let's say I want to do some conditional formats and where I want to compare a particular particular column to another column and let's say color code the background. If, for example, the list number one equals list number two for some particular product, I want that color to be green, else red. Right? You can see how this could be useful in multiple comparisons for, let's say, comparing quarters, comparing uh, year over year, so on and so forth. And I'm going to show you how easy that is to do in ClickSense. First things first, we need to find a way to basically reference our columns. And that's the hard part. That's the part once we get that, once we get that done, it's pretty straightforward from there. So let's go into the environment and do some formatting. As you all know with ClickSense, do some conditional formatting come to the uh, properties panel on the right side for each of your chart objects. And I'm going to go to the background color expression. And here I can just write a simple conditional format. So I want to be, I want to be notified if, if sum of the price is equal, right? And let's see here, I want to compare this to the, uh, the first column. With pivot tables, there's this function called first that you can just use as your to call that first column value. I know that now that if I write it this way, so this is now a boolean. If the if any of the columns equals the value in the first column, I'll call that green. I want to add some alpha value to that or red. Straightforward. And as we see, this makes sense to us, right? So when the value here equals the value of the list uh, list number in column three, we see that it's green, same as here and so forth. So I want to ask the question, what if I wanted to make the comparison for another column, not just the first column, just a simple extension of this. The, the function that we use that to call the first uh, column that function also has an offset value so we could offset it by uh, one two three whatever so if you have ten columns you can refer to whatever column number something as simple as this so this in this case for example would compare all my columns to the second column because I'm offsetting by two straightforward uh, a, a, a simple extrapolation of this would be, let's say you wanted to uh, do a comparison for a column to the column before that column. So let's say compare two to one, three to two. Pretty common for year over year comparisons. Um, pretty easy extension of this. Rather than first, we use the function called before. And now this would quickly do a comparison from the current column to the column before. All right, I hope that was pretty straightforward. Uh, we can easily create a filter pane and we see that this is dynamic. See if I do my comparisons here, we would see that things do automatically update. All right, I hope that was useful.